Hello. Hi, <clears throat> my name is Shaw Wild and I am an artist. I make music. I'm gonna tell you about it. Actually, I've been making music videos and I have so much fun making music videos. It's off the charts, ridiculous kind of fun. Like, it reminds me a lot of being a teenager. I don't know if you were ever, if you were ever a teenager, but did you ever like <laughs> feel really silly and like dance around the house with your silliest dance moves ever? Singing at the top of your lungs. And I know, I know a lot of people who do this. You're not just teenagers. But the reason I think of teenagers is because I don't think I had as much like bubbling joy as I did. I still like, I have so much fun making my music videos now. And it reminds me of how much fun I had as a teenager with my best friend. And I just have this amazing memory. I'm <laughs> basically just recreating this memory over and over for myself. We were dancing to, uh, there's a movie called Fifth Element and there's like an opera scene and we were pretending to sing opera in her living room <laughs> and we had a blanket and we would like rise up with the blanket <laughs> and then we would like drop below the couch and we were being really dramatic and we were put on a show for her family and you know we were just like Oh, I think it might have been my first YouTube video ever. Don't bother trying to like scroll down and actually find it because that was a different YouTube channel that was like in a long time ago. Um, oh, I wish, I wish I could find that. But it was the kind of like teenage joy where we collapsed in fits of giggling, like uncontrollable laughter that makes your whole body ache because we thought that what we were doing was so funny. <laughs> and like, it still has, I still have that joy, that memory of that in my body. And I, I think that when I make my music videos now, the ones I've been making recently, I'm tapping into that. I have not yet fallen over in fits of uncontrollable laughter, but I am laughing and I'm alone. Like, it's just me and a GoPro. And I do three to five takes. So I play my song three or five, three to five times. And each time I have the GoPro recording me as I dance around, I'm frolicking, I'm jumping. I am, uh, I actually the different shots I do for my music video. The first one, I carry the GoPro really close to my face. So you can see my face, you can see me singing the lyrics. Let's put my hair down. I always do this halfway through a video. I'm like, I think I'll look better with my hair down. Um, the first shot is the face. The second shot is further away, dancing, whole body. The third shot of the music video is on the ground and I'm pointing it up towards the sky and I'm dancing over the top of it. The fourth shot is laying on the ground. The fifth shot is like me trying to come up with something other, something different. This is what I did this morning. I'm trying to create a, a rhythm and a system. Um, I used to create music videos for other musicians back in the day when I was working as a full-time photographer, videographer, and I used to work for other artists and make them music videos. And now I'm making music videos for myself. It's super DIY, but this like having the same kind of shots that you do each time helps really cover all of your bases and gives you peace of mind when you're creating. Like you don't have to create from scratch every time. So when you go to make your own music video or make someone else's music video, you can know you're trying to get certain shots and then you're gonna edit them together. So that's like the, the businessy artist, like grown up part of my brain is like, we need these video shots, get these different angles, we're gonna edit them together. And then the other part of me is just this like teenage unleash, unleash it, just <laughs> run around crazy. And then there's another part of me that's more sensual. She's more of like a dancer or a seductress or like the part of me that um, has been trained in dance or the part of me that worked as a stripper. Like there's these parts of me that like performing on stage and being more in control and more elegant 
more articulate with my movements. And then there's the teenage part that just likes to bounce around and wildly explode in all directions and, and giggle. And so it's those two are kind of seeming to be the performers lately in my videos. Like this adult sensuality plus this teenage bubbliness combine to perform. And then the photographer, video editor, or videographer, video editor, marketer parts of me come together to, to take that creative chaos and actually cut it into something that's fun to watch. And then the musician part of me gets to sit back and see how the song that I made is being turned into something else. Um, I also have like kind of a, a rock star part of me that really enjoys when the like the chorus drops and I get to like fling my hair around and like pretend I'm singing to a person through the camera like I've got an audience in front of me. I saw all of these parts of me come out this morning when I made this video, music video. Um, specifically today I was making a music video for my newest song, Flamboyant Stories. So far I've made two music videos for this song. So much fun. Sometimes I see in the comments people say cringy AF when they see my dancing in my music videos. Yeah, it probably is kind of cringy sometimes. It's also probably funny, probably sexy, probably silly and goofy. There's probably something in there that's inspiring. It's probably something that's kind of serious and deep. There's probably a lot of things that are cringy. There's probably a lot of things that are really beautiful. I think like the videos that I'm putting together, <laughs> I think I'm like, <laughs> I'm, I'm hitting quite a lot of these adjectives. Um, so yeah, feel free to write whatever you want in the comments. Just be kind, you know, if you think it's cringy, okay, but you don't need to be mean about it. Um, it's so fun. Like, maybe not fun for everybody. Maybe the idea of dancing around with a camera and filming yourself, singing, lip syncing and dancing to your song that you wrote sounds like a very lame idea to you. Like, there's like 10 billion things you'd rather do. But right now, that is like pretty high on the list of things I want to do. Like when I am, I'm like, wow, I have a few hours of just like alone. I have nothing else to do. Like, this is the perfect time. The lighting is good. My body feels full of energy. I'm feeling it. <laughs> That's like when you have a dance party in your living room. I'm just like cranking it up a notch and filming myself have a dance party five times in a row to the same song with strategic camera placement. <laughs> um, I started doing this when I was in my Seattle art studio when I was painting, I would film myself painting and I would play music in the background and I would sing along and then I started to realize that I was kind of making music videos because I was singing and moving to the music and then I started doing it more on purpose, like acting it out a little bit more and, and then like last month when the song Slow Down came out I had a complete dancing failure. I could not dance to that song that I wrote. Like, wow, I hated it. I hated dancing to that song. I hated it. I hated it. So I stopped doing dance parties for a little bit. The month before that, I was dancing to Cruella. Also a weird song to dance to. The month before that, I released my song, What's Below. So fun to dance to. That's when I started doing dance parties, actually. Just in my living room. And that's one take on my phone. I would just set up my phone and record myself dancing and whatever happened, happened and I'd upload it to YouTube. That was cringy, especially, because there was no editing or anything. It's just like, there's the, and I see it now in the GoPro, like there's these moments where like I'm super into it and I'm throwing my hair and then suddenly I kind of lose the flow and I just kind of like stand there <laughs> or I like walk around or I do a really cheesy bad dance move and then I'm like, oh, 
waiting for it and then another flow of inspiration will come and I'll get like a really cool dance move and then I'll kind of like lose it again. <laughs> so this is one of the reasons I do multiple takes now. So that if I'm hoping that in one part of the song where I've got lame energy, in another take, hopefully I had better energy at that part of the song. So I can like switch them out. So that the, the energy that I'm exhibiting from beginning to end is, is entertaining. <sighs> yeah, that's what you're seeing on my channel uh, right now. I'm really excited to be sharing a new song each month. I've been publishing it on the first Friday of every month. And then I'm following that up with commentary videos about how I made the song, what it means, videos like this, kind of about my creative process, and also the, the music videos, <laughs> the dance party music videos. So yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for taking an interest in my artwork and supporting it. And um, yeah, it's bringing me a lot of joy to create it. So I hope that that joy can be contagious and spread into your life and help inspire you to create something that brings you joy. And then the thing that you're creating, you can share it with someone else and it will just be a beautiful ripple effect of creative joy spreading out and out and out and out and out and out and out. And that, that's a beautiful vision. Okay, thank you. Oh, there's links below. If you click the links below, you'll be able to hear the new song, Flamboyant Stories. I also published the lyrics to it on my blog. I also published the commentary. The links for that are down below. And I've also got links below for like my website and uh, my studio membership and whatever. Go read down there. You're getting a second kiss. <gasps> okay, goodbye.